My name is Hannah Rubalcava, and I'm the Grants and Contracts Manager for the Santa Barbara County Office of Arts and Culture. We are a county government agency serving um, Santa Barbara County. And in my role, I help support our office on the business side, so handling all of our grants and contracts. But since we're a small office, there's only three of us we all share in all of the work that we do to support our county. Santa Barbara County is a large, geographically diverse, and also we have a very diverse group of communities, everything from kind of an urban suburban to extreme rural, everything from coastal beach to mountains to high desert. So um, we try to, between the three of us, um, serve all of our communities in the best way that we can, our arts, our, our artists, our cultural bearers, our arts and culture institutions, and just the community at large. So we do that through a variety of programs. First and foremost, we, we are a connector and a convener of people. Um, we, we listen to our communities and try to react and respond appropriately with our programs. Um, we have three government galleries that we curate. We do public art. We have um, a percent for art program um, that we facilitate and four different grant programs. So we do a lot of free granting in addition to um, whenever we see opportunities that will benefit our community, we try to access those and, and bring either funding or resources into our county as much as possible. So some recent examples of that, we did the California Creative Corps program. We're an administering organization through the California Arts Council. Um, we have done some disaster or relief, um, COVID relief grant programs. We did an emergency preparedness program through the Mellon Foundation. Pretty much any opportunity we see to bring resources into our county to support our arts and culture sector, we, we try to do that to our best of our ability. Like I mentioned before, we really see ourselves as a, a connector and a convener you know, getting information from what's going on in the sector nationally at the state level, and then we try to bring that down locally. We really try to actively listen to and support our artists and arts organizations. And in the most recent times, um, Santa Barbara County has had some major natural disasters in addition to the pandemic, which affected everybody. But supporting the sector through that has really been um, a primary focus of ours and so we worked with the state they had some disaster relief funds that we brought in to support our artists we had several artists lose just about everything in the debris flows and the fires so providing that opportunity just to help and support and if nothing else just listening to people because as much as we supported the artists the artists and our arts organizations really supported the community as well and so letting people know what this sector does you know oftentimes people think of the arts as like a museum or a performance and they don't see the community piece california's for the arts they they had artists as second responders because when we have these um, disasters, artists really bring communities together where it's for a fundraising concert or we had museums open up their their museums for kids to have school when the schools were shut down. So that, that's a big part of our sector that we're trying to support. But then when COVID hit and everything was shut down, you know, arts was the first thing shut down and the last thing to open up. And so we really tried to connect because we're a government agency with the emergency operations and public health and help our organizations open up safely. Um, prior to COVID, we'd actually started the um, performing arts readiness and just being able to provide that space to get our organizations to think about long-term sustainability and how to survive through, not only survive, but thrive after disasters. Um, that's kind of been our focus for the last five years, in addition to our, our regular work, providing arts and culture access through our galleries and then re-granting. So we do four different grant programs annually, and that's to support access for everyone to the arts. So I really think that we contribute just in providing that connection to resources, to information, as well as programming but I would say more importantly is highlighting the importance of the art sector as a vibrant partner within our community. I really 
hope that people see the importance of the local arts agency as some people say the heart of the community or is the backbone, but I like to think of it as more of like the nervous system, which just passes that information from local to higher up to see the needs of communities and then the resources and information coming from, you know, nationally or from the state and bringing that down locally. You know, we've been working on this Creative Core grant program with five other counties and it's so interesting because each of us serves our counties in such a unique way and it really responds to to the community in which we we serve so you know some people have more direct programming some it's more policy based but we've all adapted to really meet the needs of the community and and be that partner that's showing people um, what our artists bring, what our arts organizations bring, highlighting the cultures of each communities. It's just such a critical piece. And so for me, um, the message I'd like to see moving forward is that the arts are so impactful to a community, whether you're talking about tourism, community improvement, the economy, all of it comes together. Um, equity, diversity, the arts support all of this. And so that's the piece that would be great for people to see. I know oftentimes when people think of a local arts agency and not that these things aren't important, like studio tours or gallery exhibitions, all of that is fantastic. And, and we need that too, but also understanding how fun foundational arts and culture are to our communities. And that's the piece that I want people to see and also invest in, you know. Moving forward, I think it's setting the arts as a priority and investing in them, and also understanding what a great contribution the arts and culture, especially local arts agencies are to our communities. For more information about SMU Data Arts Research, please see the links in the video description and visit our website. Make sure you subscribe to our newsletter to stay up to date on the latest in arts research and be sure to follow us on social media.